Hi guys, this is Will here at 5 Minute Digital Recording Tips. Today we're going to talk about Beat Detective, which is a great little program for extracting a tempo from a live performance. So today I've uh, recorded a little acoustic guitar part. We'll have a quick listen here. So we're going to try and extract a tempo from this, which we can use to drive a drum machine or a sequencer or some other MIDI programming. And this can be great if, for instance, you know, you record that magical guitar and vocal take and you want to overdub with some programming uh, or so on. So the first thing we do is we need to decide how many bars we're going to do at a time. I don't do any more than four. I find that uh, Beat Detective is quite finicky and it has a hard time picking up on upstrokes and rotandos and so on. So um, if I do, you know, I've, I've tried to do eight, 16 bars in the past and I end up having to go back and redo it and it takes twice as long. So four bars, even less if you've got, you know, wildly varying tempos. Uh, but today we're going to try four bars. So we let's count out four bars. <coughs> that's the downbeat of bar 5 so if we make sure we're in slip mode and tab to transient is clicked if we hit tab it should take us right to the uh, to the transient of that downbeat and if we hit Apple E on the Mac uh, we should have our four bar region separated so there we have four bars now let's try and extract a tempo from this so we go up to vent and we open up beat detective under operation we make sure we're in bar beat marker generation uh, now the next in this selection this is the important part here you got to tell the computer what the starting bar and what the finishing bar are so that it can actually adjust the tempos accordingly so uh, we know that the start is bar one so we put a one in there and we know that the end bar is going to be bar five because it's a four bar piece five one we can leave it in four four uh, in the detection area make sure we're in normal and high emphasis and next thing we have to do is just hit analyze okay and let's see analyze okay now if we increase this sensitivity here we should hopefully see some trigger points there's one, there's two and three. So there we have what I would guess are the start of bar two, bar three, and bar four. Now we could put this in beats and it might give us more trigger points. Yeah, there we go, but we don't need those right now and it's just gonna confuse uh, the software. So we have our trigger points for this little piece. Now if we were to hit generate, it should give us tempos at each one of those. Let's see, generate. Now it's going to ask you here if you want to preserve tick position or sample position. This means that if you've got, if you have some that programming already recorded or some, you know, maybe you played along a MIDI keyboard, uh, it's asking you if you if you want to move this or if you want to uh, preserve sample position. Don't move. So we're going to say don't move for now, and we hit OK. So it's given us four tempos up here. We can see them. They're all 67, 67, 68, 65, okay? So let's just get this out of the way for a second. Um, we have our tempo. So now if we, I've just, I programmed a little, um, just a kick, hat, and snare uh, loop in machine. So if we, hopefully, if we play along, uh, if we play machine along with this acoustic part for these four bars, it should hopefully be in time. So let's see. Here we go. good so that's actually spot on in time now you could use the sub beats or the beats triggers if you wanted to get these tempos up here even more precise and have you know have, have the, the the map moving more but I think for a piece like this that's fairly solidly in time I think we're all set 
So then you would just repeat this process for the whole for the rest of the song in four bar segments. Um, and there you have how basically to create a tempo map using Beat Detective. This has been Will and you've been listening to 5 Minute Digital Recording Tips. Thanks guys.